Hello. So, hey, what's going on? So, this is, uh, I'm going to get right into the point here. Kent. Nishimura. Uh, reached out to me and said, hey, man, check Kenichiwa. out my uh, my finger style. I think you do a different style. Kenichiwa. Um, cover. And I go, well, what do you got? What? Give me give me a couple. And he says, well, how about I pick out a couple of these? And I'm like, okay. Everyone wants to rule the world. Cheers I really like this I remember the original. Yep. This is a really Jeez, good. That came out in like, what, 85 or something? So we were just like young punks back then, just so, wee little stains. I was six years old in 85. But... This is one of my actually one of all my time favorite, like, like eighty secret eighties bands that I actually like. Um, hmm. Just the way those dudes sang together, it was awesome. For the life of me, I couldn't name another single song of theirs. Sowing the seeds up above. Never heard it. Sowing seeds. Um, how about? Um. Yeah, sing to me more. You want me to sing? <laughs> um, here, I'll look it up. Because now I'm curious. I'm drawing a blank, too. Solo acoustic car. Um, okay, so while he's checking that out, <clears throat> I'm curious to know if he's going to do, like, overtracking of himself. Shout. Oh, yeah. Shout. Head over heels. Shout. You know, Scream head over heels, and right? shout. Nope. Head over heels. That's it. Come on. You do, too. I do not know that one. Yeah, tell me I know it. Good tune, man. So I wonder why he chose this one. Because he's so, cool? Anyways, he then the, the question I wonder is, is a kid going to have like... Oh, split... you know it's a kid. Where are you getting this kid shit from? Maybe it's not even a... Maybe, I don't know. Let's find Kent. out. Let's... Kent is a, definitely a boy's name. Let's quit all the speculating and check it out. Reaction starts at... Ooh, look at those fingernails. This is the song. Okay, he's a kid. Huh. Ooh. The way he's playing that Frank. I know, right? What? Why did you pause it? Because you're sitting here going, uh, uh. I was going to slap you for pausing, and you paused it anyway. Oh, well. Okay. I'll uh, turn up the volume. It, uh, initial impressions. Very good sounding guitar. Um, it's a well-rounded sound. The whole song yeah. sounds like it's there. Mr. Even Nishimura. The vocals, even the vocals are in this. Yes. Which is... Uh, very cool, considering the only other person I know that actually throws the vocals is this Mr. Alip. Alip Bata. Very same, similar style. I like it. Where's this guy from? Well, with a name like Nishimura, I don't think it's a stretch to say that he's probably Japanese. Well, it's not necessarily true. Let's take a look. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a go. safe venture here, and I'm gonna say I think the young man is Japanese. Nishimura. Um, Sounds pretty Japanese to me. Okay. I'm just a stupid American. I know. I accept that. Uh, oh, boy. But what's more important is, let's talk about the sacrifice that he has to make to play as deeply and well-rounded as he does to have his nails that long. Because I know, for me, that's a real pain in the ass. As soon as I mm. even get, like, a little bit of white... Mine get flimsy. I gotta, like... I gotta cut that down because it bothers me when I try to pick something up. Oh, this isn't it. And just the other day, I was cleaning some stuff, and I was trying to pick this little piece out, and my one of my nails, like even as short as they are, like folded like backwards, Ow. and I was like, "Oh, yeah, this is pointy." So, it's a tremendous sacrifice that this kid's making. Is what I'm trying to get at here, and it's well worth it. It's only on one hand too. Let's press on, shall we?
Ooh. See that? Hold on. Is see he getting that? No, wait. Yeah, he's, he's getting he's, that sound out of clicking his. He's clicking, but you see his thumb. He's playing the bass line with his thumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the rest that. of it. He's playing guitar, the bass line, and the vocals at the same time. Because the top string, he's just going. He's doing, 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 doing. So he had to pick the right tuning to match the rest of the song. Because that's all he's using that string for. I think that's just for your bass on the bass of the song. That's How the cool. hell do you come up with that tuning? Well, what the hell? Nice computer. <laughs> yeah. So he's muting it, though, sometimes. Boom. incredible dude it's just oh even getting softer sweet it's fading out just like it did in the 80s holy shit mr and Mr. Nishimura and Frankenfurter there are a force to be reckoned with. That was good. That was very, very impressive. If I was on an Ooh. elevator and that was playing in the elevator, I wouldn't get off. I'd just ride that motherfucker up and down. Like, <laughs> yeah, until that song was over. You see that? I see that. Africa. He covers Toto, Africa. I'm actually going to write that down on my list. I want to listen to that like right now, actually. <laughs> kind of want to. No, we got to do a reaction to it, man. Kent. Yeah. Mr. That's Mr. Nishimura to you, damn it. And Mr. Furter, Frank Furter. And I'm going to be subscribing because that, I that was hear good. More. Um, that was very good. That was a very direct cover of it. All the elements were there. It wasn't like an interpretive and it wasn't like a, a classical spin. It was like a direct, yep. like bring everything into it. Great sound. Uh, very well done. Very, like, very deep. All the elements were there. I mean, the kid was all over. I, I can't imagine how you can even keep that stuff straight. And to, to be able to get the right, you know, you got to have the right chords and stuff for your for your actual guitar parts. But then he's playing the bass line, too. So he's got to have a finger, most likely, way out of whack from where he would normally be. And then, at the same time, of thinking and all that. He's tapping his fingers and he's just playing all the strings. just like crazy. I think part of the secret might be in the tuning of that guitar. 
But then that leads to a deeper question is of how did he come up with the tuning to be able to play all of it properly in the right spot and then and then figure it out. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Well, well thanks for the recommendation. Um, my brain is turning to goo by now. I'm trying to figure that out, but very good. Very good. Hmm. Cheers. Cheers for Thanks, cheers guys. For fears.